Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a probability distribution. And as you can see, I already have the problem on the left side of my screen. I have the calculator that will help us go through the process of or all the step-by-step -step, uh, step -step procedures from here. So in this problem, we are asked to just find the mean, standard deviation, and the variance for it. And we'll start off with the mean from here. So let me get my pen going. There we are. So if I want to find the mean from this from this table, I'm going to enter in the calculator. And it's a matter of how we're going to list it in here. Whenever we have a data set, we want to go to the stat button on our calculator. And we want to just edit. Edit means we're going to enter the values or maybe change something that's already in there. And as you can see, I already have list one and list two labeled. List one will be whatever we choose for our x values. Oops. There we go. And list two or L2 will be the probabilities from here. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the mean. So in the calculator, we're not going to use the actual L1 and L2 values. We're going to create a brand new list in the L3 section or the L3 column. So from here, the form that we're going to use is we're going to multiply all the x values to their corresponding probabilities. So we're going to say L3 will equal all the values in list 1 multiply to all the values in list two. So with the calculator, we're going to scroll all the way over to L3. Now I'm not going to multiply these one at a time. I'm just going to go up and highlight the L3 section. And for those who want to see the whole history from here, once I have the L3 highlighted, I'm just going to enter L1, which is second one. I'm going to multiply that to L2, which is second 2, and press enter. So see how all the values are already done for us, all the products are already entered in, in list 3? So this is the list that we're going to use to find the mean. And to find the mean, we're going to go back to the stats button, we're going to go to calc, which means calculate, and we're going to go to the one var stats. So I'm going to press enter. And this is where I would, I would actually uh, enter the list that has the values from here. Since we're, gonna, since we're looking at L3, we're going to type in second 3 and press enter. And then it spits out all these values with the mean standard deviation. And for this particular case, whenever we have the probabilities, the mean is found from this notation, the summation of x. And let me... Let me do that one more time from here. So the mean is actually found from this notation. Summation of x, which is the second choice on here. So our mean is really 3.752. Okay, so that's our answer for the first, uh, for the first step. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually use the mean value to help us determine the variance and the standard deviation. And I know the problem worded to where we said find the standard deviation, but for this case with the calculator, it's, it's better to find the variance first. Okay, so for the variance, we're going to enter another formula like we did in the L3 section. So let's go back to the stats button. And I'm going to clear this. This is actually the reference for the step by all the steps that I've entered in the calculator. So I'm going to clear this. And we need to go back to edit. Okay. And I'm not going to put anything in L3. I want to keep that there just in case I ever want to go back and look and look through some of the numbers again. So I'm going to go to L4. And for the variance, the formula we're going to enter is actually a little bit different we're going to enter whatever our x values are, which is everything in list 1. I'm going to subtract that from the mean, square this, 
but then multiply it by the values in list 2. And from here, we know the mean is 3.752 in our case, because that was the first answer from here. So I'm going to enter all of this in that L4 up above. And the same idea, if I want to enter something in there, I have to go, I have to highlight the L4. So here is where I'm going to put open parentheses, L1 minus, I have to actually enter the value for the mean, 3.752, close parentheses. I'm going to square all that, but then multiply it by all the values in the second list and press enter. So see how we already have all the values from above? And once I have that, I'm going to go back to that, the stack button, go to calc, and the one var stacks. And this is where I'm going to enter that brand new list for the variance, which was L4. Go to second L4 from here. And oh no, I need to make this larger. So if I press enter, Okay, so that kind of went a little bit haywire when I stretch it out, but so here, our variance is going to be found in this notation again, summation of x. So our variance is 0 0.940, 0.94, Three five oh four. So that's our variance from here. So we've actually found the mean variance. All that's left is our standard deviation. And for the standard deviation, the standard deviation is really the square root of the variance. So to find this, I'm going to take that point nine four zero five. 73504. I'm going to just take the square root of all that. And I could put that in the calculator actually. So I'm going to take, I'm going to do the square root oops, of 0 0.94057304 and close parentheses. So my standard deviation is really 0 0.9698. If I round it, it would be close to 1, essentially. Okay. So this is just my little tutorial on how to, to, on how to find or calculate the mean variance and standard deviation from a probability distribution. And we'll be seeing much more of these little tutorials in class and then more recordings from them as well. But I'm hoping this actually helps you guys go through the process of how to de how to use a calculator for this course, because in the end, the calculator is it is quite it is quite critical for this course because it's able to actually perform all the operations and does it faster than than most humans. So meantime, go over this once again. We have a few more examples coming up for this for this section and chapter. So I will see y'all in class.